Okay, before I start today's video, this is going to be for converting PlayStation 2 bin and Q files to ISO. If you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss out on upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide. So we're looking at converting .bin and .q PlayStation 2 games today into something a bit more recognizable for emulators such as PCSX2 or the Play emulator. So we're going to be using a very cool program called OPL Manager. Here's the link and I'm going to obviously link this in my description. Just download OPL Manager. This is currently at version 22.4. Once you've downloaded this, you're going to get yourself a zip folder. If we just extract the contents, so what I'm going to do is create a new folder on my desktop. Just right click anywhere, new folder and literally call this folder whatever you want. And what I'm going to do next is just highlight all of the contents in that OPL Manager zip folder I've just downloaded and literally just drop them into the new folder so they've at least got somewhere to go. So while this is extracting, inside of my crash folder here, I've got Crash Bandicoot the Wrath of Cortex. This is in bin Q files. So obviously the point of this is, is to convert it to ISO. So what we're going to do next is just delete that zip folder of OPL Manager because we've just extracted it into a new folder. So what we're going to do is open up OPL Manager, just double left click on the XE. Windows protected your PC, just left click on more info and run anyway. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is select our language. Lots of different languages here, English by default for me and save. And we're also going to go for save on automatically check for updates. Next thing we're going to do just here is actually put a path in place for this. So what I'm going to do is link this up to that LOL folder I've just created. It's where I've dropped OPL Manager into. So it's on my desktop, LOL and OK. If I then go to save and OK. And would you like to create our CFG CD DVD folders? Press yes on this because... It's going to create these folders and the ISO image is going to end up in the DVD folder. So just press yes. And that's it. We're now in. Everything's done pretty much. What I'm going to do is just go into the LOL folder. And as we can see, it's now created some new folders. And our final product, which is going to be the ISO image, is going to end up in this DVD folder just here. So let's go back to OPL Manager again. And the first thing we need to do is go to Tools disk convert to ISO and under mode at the top just there just left click on bin like I've just done from image file we need to open file here and you need to locate your game so my game is on my desktop and it's in my crash folder if I double left click and as we can see it's even located the game's ID all we need to do then to convert this to ISO is press on start And that's it, it's literally that easy and that quick. So just press OK and let's close out of OPL. Now if I go back into my LOL folder, into my DVD folder, here's my ISO image, which is 500 megabyte. So obviously we can actually rename this because we don't necessarily want the uh, serial number uh, SLES 503 blah blah blah. So if you wish, you can just literally backspace that. So it just reads Crash Bandicoot the Rafa Cortex ISO. So, anyways, if you liked today's video, hit notification, subscribe, and like so you don't miss out on upcoming retro emulation content. Also, join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.